Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect Warden Mode and that fridge is in the wrong place so let me fix that in a moment. Also we've just got body armor which means I'm about to spend a lot of money uh, <laughs> because as you can see all of the guards are streaming towards the armory. Anyway in the previous episode we got cell block A completed as you can see and we might put some stuff in the center I haven't yet decided maybe some phone booths or something like that but we'll see how we get on. We also got some of these walkways put in which I'm not too sure if they'll work but we'll have to just see what happens. We've just got 16 grand because of the uh, Grand completion for the long-term investment which means we will go over to grants and then get probably max sec infrastructure which will already get half that done anyway and then we will crack on so what we need to do this episode is finish off the majority of the things we need in order to get prisoners and that's what we'll be doing throughout this episode and then hopefully getting prisoners by the time we get it all sorted and towards the back end so let's just crack on so we need to just double check uh, that is yeah metal detectors are there that's fine what we need to do really is get some CCTV up and running because the warden can only see uh, well for a start what they've been in recently so you go in there you get line of sight you come out it doesn't immediately go off which I'm uh, I don't really care either way. I mean, if it if it was more accurate, then fair enough, I can understand it. But I really understand the reasons why it's not like that. It means you can have a quick look and go, oh my god, uh, run away <laughs> if you need to. But uh, CCTV, very, very, very useful. So let's just go over to utilities and we'll go for CCTV monitor. And obviously these are quite large, but we'll put three of them in like so. This is going to be our CCTV room. We also do need a phone tap, which we'll put in the corners. We might even go for automatic door control, but we'll see how that one goes. Just have a ch quick check on the utilities electrical cable which we do need to plumb that in like so and that's all connected up right it's done so we need for the visitation rights a common room a pool table and two tvs so let's just have a quick look on the left hand side i'm going to speed up to max speed and then patrol over here and um, we've got several rooms that we don't really have much use for now i think this one up the top hang on wait what, oh, this one here yes this one here we haven't built yet but i do need to put that in just so i can get some proper proper like um things place walls and such and patrols and that all the way around as well as um, make it uh, staff only but we need to place this here and i don't really know what what room what it's what it's going to be i really haven't decided yet i'm thinking laundry i think laundry would be quite decent here although um do we need laundry go on i'll put a laundry in here because we need we need one eventually and closer to the entrance i guess is good because you bring stuff in and out like the clothing and the new clothes and stuff like that so this should be okay so we'll do, we'll get the laundry done so it shouldn't be too much of a difficult task so laundry clicky clicky draggy draggy and there's that done so we need some laundry machines which we'll put in the back and i'm just gonna put a couple of them in for now i'm not gonna expand them any further we also need some tables which i'll put in well, it doesn't really matter where i put them but we'll put a table in for let's say uh, I should put them in there. We're not going to put them in the back just in case we need more laundry machines. I don't think we will, but hey ho. Uh, we'll have some. I could. Can I put them like that? One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then laundry baskets. It doesn't really matter where they go because they get shifted anyway. So we'll just pile them up like so. Obviously, utilities need to be connected. So we'll just run this along, down, and then in. To that and then electrical cable same sort of deal straight to there while I'm here because I do have enough money I'm just gonna finish the capacitors off like so that should be fine and this should get lit up because of the electrical cable so we'll see the lights come in any moment now once they do over there come on come on they're getting there you can see when you mouse over something the red line appears to show you where people are and there we go that's all lit up now that's fine so we'll go to deployment staff only and yes we can select the outside now which is fine we'll double select that as well um, i'll just check that again a psychologist is fine infirmary is okay just need to go down the bottom make sure with that that bit is now staff only as well storage is fine and i think most of this is okay um i we haven't got any road gates on the outside I'm not too sure whether that's going to be included or not but we'll see how it goes so we need to add some CCTV, so we'll go over to Utilities and CCTV. We should have a fairly decent amount of CCTV capacity because of the amount of monitors we put in. I believe each one can handle... Is it six or is it eight? I'm not entirely sure, but either way, we're going to put in a lot of CCTV. And for some reason, is that not connected up? Build more CCTV monitors. I am very confused. CCTV. Oh, because I haven't wired them up, of course. Right, so one, two, three, four. Um, I don't think I necessarily... I don't think I really need one in here, but it, if we're going to have... 
we need one in here? I don't think we need one in here, but it would be nice to have a CCTV monitor so we can see in there. And it also means that if we do go for people working in there, then it's it's all placed, you see. So let's have a CCTV camera in here. And in here. And in here. Right, we also need one in here as well, but this'll be this will be a problem because it's um probably gonna stop the beds or maybe that'll go through the wall so we should be okay there haven't got one outside and normally I don't put them in the yard or anything like that and um, is there a middle to this let's have a quick look uh, 22 so no it would be like 11 and 11 wouldn't it yeah so oh that's actually okay then because we can have 11 and 11 okay that's fine there you go and we'll have them like that Actually, is that the middle? <laughs> I just assumed that that was the middle. Ah, oh, it's not. There's no middle. Seven and six. Yeah, that'll do. Right. So we'll go down. And we'll do it on this side as well. Seven. Ten. That's your middle there. Or close to it as we're going to get. There you are. Okay. And then finally we need to have this room in here. So this is our... Cell block. I'm going to put one camera in, maybe another one further down the line. But we do have... We have a guard patrol, so we'll hear if there's any any issues. We just won't be able to um, do much about it, or we we'll, we'll, won't be able to see it. What's going to be quite annoying, actually, is this connection. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Have I wired that up wrong? Ah, uh, yes, I've done it the wrong way around. So, cancel those off. So, it's that way. There we go. So, one, two, three. One, two. Well, it should be five. One, two. Three, four, five, yeah. Six. Seven. So, looks like we can have eight, I believe. Eight. So if I put nine on, it should it should not break it, but it should um, patrol between it all. It'll probably tell me actually. Maximum eight cameras can be viewed at once. Yes. So that one and those which are not they're not um, connected up. I don't think. And then that one. They're not online. Why are they not online? Let's have a quick look. They're on. They've got no power. Okay. That's what I thought. Because they're outside, they don't share the same distribution grid when it comes to inside, you see. So that's why they're a bit more annoying to wire up. But we can handle that. Not exactly a mammoth task, just a little bit of placement there. Okay, so... Let's have a quick look at our... Um, do you want to look at regime and policy? Well, we'll pull... While we're looking here, we'll pull the parole down to about... Uh, 20%. Why not? In terms of grants, we're okay on there. Programs are not running anything at the moment. In terms of the regime, we do need to alter that, but I'm going to probably do that with the policy later on. So there's a couple of things that we don't have that we really do need. So... We do need a common room, but we can do that we can do that when prisoners are here. We also haven't got anything in the yard, which is fine, we can handle that. What we don't have is what we don't have is parole, which I'm not really too bothered for the time being at least. And we don't have chapel, we can deal with that. Library is not needed. Mill room ugh, glitchy probably still. Um and is that all we need? Ah, oh, solitary. We haven't got solitary. Okay. Okay. So it's important that we get that up and running first. So. These are going to be the cell blocks. Obviously we've got our yard, we've got our laundry, which I haven't actually placed a flooring in. I am trying, trying my best to uh, place stuff. I haven't actually got any grass in here as well, so let's place some grass there as well. 26 grand, 25 grand now, but that's okay. That's more than enough to complete what we need. 
and it uh, gets a little bit of greenery around here. So we haven't got a solitary, and it would be nice to have one, but I'm not too sure where. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to change this all to lockdown. I'm not going to alter any of the punishments. Keep them all as default for now. Medium meal quantity and variety, that's fine. In terms of regime, let's go for sleep up until about 5. I'll have a bit of free time after the shower. Two hours of free. I oh, know, we'll have an hour of free. Two hours of eat. Smash it all on free time there. Bit of a sleep at the end. So, got another f couple of hours of free time. Then one, two, three, four. Uh, we haven't got any lockdown, actually. Let's have... One, two, three, four. So, eat. Then one, two, three, four. Two hours of lock up. One, two, three, four. And then you've got a bit of free time at the end there. Oh, we haven't got any din. No dinner. No dinner. There's a bit of eight. Yeah, that's about right. So, from 12 to 6, a bit of sleeping there. Well, actually, it's from 11 till 6. So, you're getting, your, you're getting a couple of... Couple of hours, couple of hours, bit a bit of violence now and again in the in the cells. So you know you might uh, be walking up by someone um, being a little bit naughty. But um, hey ho, it's the uh, state of the place. Hopefully that's not the case. But anyway, shower after that, get rid of all the sweat, grime, and tears, and then you've got a bit of free time, genuine free time. So you can do whatever you want for that hour, apart from break the law or follow the strict uh, regime that we've set. And then you've got e time, so brekky. And then you've got work slash free time, so anyone with a job goes to do that, or anyone with a particular task or um, uh, parole, not parole, um, program to run, and that's fine. Yeah, that's what you'll do there. Otherwise, you'll just have free time. So in this case, pretty much sit in the canteen, do nothing else. And then you've got lock up for two hours, so that increases the uh, punishment factor. And then we've got basically repeat at the end of it and that's it right so it is two in the morning i think we will go to our intake and we'll say fill capacity and we'll fill it with medium prisoners because why not so first thing we're going to do because i think it would be a bit daft if i didn't is go to staff guards one and that is our grant done i've actually got one too many that i want hang on let me go to staff and fire one of them. There we go. So that's another grand done. So 37 grand. We are running at a bit of a loss, but we'll hopefully offset that by the time people come in. So grants, we've got acclimatization and engagement, which is very, very easy to do because we can just assign people to um, laundry, kitchen, cleaning. Okay, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to sort of, sort of cheap out a bit because I'm going to go over to logistics, prison labor, one, two, three. And there's that done. Uh, we'll quickly go up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And actually, you know what? We'll just put loads of people in the laundry. And then we're going to go to rooms. Cleaning. We're going to designate the morgue as cleaning. Like that. Which is now done. Pause it. Logistics. Get the grant done. Close that off. And then change it to a morgue again. There you go. And there's that grant done. And obviously we don't want anyone in um, here either. There you go. So, done. We've got manufacturing facility. No, we're not going to do that. Reform through education initiative. The <laughs> the bin of the Let's Play series because I don't think we've ever completed it in any sitting, any any level. However, it has been, by all accounts, I got into the patch notes, more people have told me, uh, it's been improved somewhat. So you can easily do it, or not easily do it, but rather you can do it in the first place. So, I was going to go down the bottom here, and we're going to switch over to the... Oh, I don't really want a gun. I'm going to switch over to this mode, which is the inventory mode, and we'll put on some body armor. <laughs> there you go, we got body armor on. And we will get a taser as well. Now, I'm not going to get a gun. You can pick up a baton, and you can also pick up a, a, a revolver. However... Don't think that is really the way to go, <laughs> because remember, if you get knocked out or killed, then the prisoners take that, and we are the warden, we're not built for fighting. So, we definitely don't want that, so I'll carry a non-lethal weapon with me. So, time to sort of finish off a couple of bits around here, so I don't know what the, the gap will be 
for these things. I'll just sort of build like this and see where we get to. Um, there we go. Five on either side. Job done. We'll max speed that out. Fly up here. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you guessed it. One, two, three, four, five. And that's just enough time for us to head towards our head towards our reception and greet the new inmates. So, we haven't got a security guard yet. I don't think it's strictly necessary, although I might regret that decision and indeed that comment in due course. But, in terms of bureaucracy, we don't have a taser rollout. might be decent. Uh, we'll go for education because that's one of our reform through education initiatives we need to get. And as you can see, we're going to pull out the... Uh, the clipboard as well. We're just going to go to planning here. Walls, we're going to get rid of that there. Um, double checking our deployment, which is this is staff only, that's fine. I'm going to change that to staff only because I think it will be worth it. Um, up the top's done and pause a second. Guard patrols, we haven't got a guard stationed in the centre, but we will. Uh, guard stationed in the centre there. Haven't got one around there. Dog patrols, I believe we have got them down the bottom, but I will check in but a moment. But for the time being, what I want to do is come outside and greet our new inmates. And here's the bus that's coming along. So it'll stop near deliveries and they will be unloaded. So obviously we do need to uh, make sure that they are <laughs> greeted with care. Hi guys, how's it going? As you can see, oh, I do have keys for this thing. I did have keys for that, it did work. So there's all of our prisoners, as you can see. I'm going to go to normal view now just so I can um, see what the deal is. In fact, what I'll do is I will uh, wait inside for them. With the taser. <laughs> so we've got a total of 18 prisoners come in. Obviously, danger level is going to go up, as it always does on the first, first day. We've got factors, plus two armed guards are in service, but we don't have them patrolling, so we're not going to get that suppression effect. So it's actually a, just a straight-out negative. So obviously, we, we are just waiting for prisoners to come in. <laughs> it's getting a bit crowded. Oh, starting to find some stuff. You, cooler. <laughs> Yeah, danger level is going up because of the because of the search. Anyone with anyone anyone with stuff that's been found, then you know we'll have to. Uh, well, it depends what they're found with. If they're found with, they're found with tools and stuff, then it could be a problem. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, lock open these big doors here. So. That one there. And you can see the time it takes to, to do this. Whereas previously, it would just be a quick zip the camera over there, job done. Now, it's, you know, it, it, it can take many, many more seconds to go from one side to the other. No, it, it, in a serious note, it, it does actually take a lot longer from, you know, just, just to go from, say, opening that door and that door. It's not just quick, click, done, click, done. You have to actually go down to it, click it, up there, move to the other side, all that sort of thing. So... It can be an issue. Right, so, uh, kitchen obviously is not yet complete. They are taking them through the kitchen, which is not what I wanted. I'm going to... Let's look at that, actually. As you can see, I've got... This is the preferred patrol right now. The reason they are not getting taken that way is one of three things. This this route here is the preferred uh, travel, dis travel way for the prisoners. And the reason they're not using that is for one of three reasons, as far as I can tell. A, I've got it wrong. That's normally my... Nah, that's my default option, is that, yeah, I've messed it up. Second one is that because they are being transported by guards, guards are classed as staff, which are blue, which means they don't take that route. That's probably what it is. Or the first one. Or the third one, which is it's not working. <laughs> so, I have no idea. So, they're going to go to their new cells. So we're going to have a look up here. Actually, no, what we're going to do while well, we've got the time. Head down the bottom. Dog patrols. 
We definitely have a dog patrol there. That's fine. That's going up to the far left. It doesn't go right. It doesn't go up. It just goes from left to right, left to right, left to right. I will get myself another dog handler. Generally, it's, it's normally best to have another third on top of what you what you actually have. Yeah, that's that CCTV is not good enough. So we're going to dismantle that. And we're going to find the middle of this thing. Which I believe it's uh, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's... Well, 1, 2, 3, 4. This sells the middle, really. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so what I'll do is have CCTV. Like that. And then we can see both sides. We can't see the centre, but that's a, that's a decent trade-off for for that, I think. I'm going to speed up to max speed, and this is where we're going to have a bit of an issue, because we have to go to connect, and we have to connect up this and this, both of these, so I'll click on that, and then go up and along, <laughs> and we'll say that one, and that one, and that one. Okay. It's not actually as annoying as I thought it would be. So, those are connected. Oh, I've done it the wrong way around again. Yes, I have. Right. My mistake. So, that one. There we are. Okay. So, we are getting... Um, are we getting better line of sight? I'm going to go outside and just see what it's like. Yes, that's much better line of sight. Much better line of sight. We can't see into the shower, but, you know, one would argue that that's actually a, um, a fairly reasonable uh, thing to have. Um, for some reason, work-free time, there's still baking on there. It looks like they were cleaning it up. Okay. Right. So, what I'm going to do, building brick... Crack on. One there. And one there. Don't know what these are going to have inside them. I have no idea. I'm thinking... Probably chapel. Shop. Somewhere like that. But we'll see. There was just a dingling noise, which I'm guessing is the... Tears of rollout. Oh, here we go, look. So, prisoners are coming in the centre. Well, and all the CCTVs off for some reason. So prisoners are coming in the centre. They are picking up all of these. And we'll know whether or not these routes work if they leave by the bot via the bottom doors. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on these prisoners. It's still eat time. Now it's on free time. They're either going to sit there and do nothing or they're going to leave. And they are leaving down the bottom. But the question is where they're going. If they're going to here, then it makes sense. But if they're going this way and up, yes, that works. That seems to work. You see they left at the bottom one here and then went out this way. Whereas that might be the most efficient route. That seems to function. That seems to function. Okay. So. There is our... Uh, Our first day. Nice. Good. Okay. So we'll go over to the left and we will start running some electrical cable. And we'll run that right across to there. And I don't know what rooms we're going to have in here, so we'll, we'll wait. So there's several rooms that we need. We need... Ooh. Library. Chapel. We need classroom. Mail room. All sorts. All sorts of rooms. So, planning, walls, let's see what we can get. So, chapel. Make it a 10. It's always quite large. Uh, classroom, same thing on the other side. Um, so, 9, 10. There we go. So, that's it. Internal, oh, it's internal of 9. So, we'll, we'll actually make it internal of 10. Actually, no, we won't because we'll be deleting some lights. So, I'm not going to bother. So, 9, Oh, and that's going to be... Ah, we're always going to be deleting some lights, aren't we? No, well, So, nine. And I don't know what size this is. Um, nine. And then... Yeah, too much. So... Eight, eight. Eight. And the room's far too big. Okay. So I'll have a really big room. That'll be our common room. And then... 8 and 8. 
So let's let's eyeball what we're gonna get in here. So common room. Like that. Um classroom. Chapel. Although no, we'll probably put it on the other side a bit bigger. Shop. That's an object, so we're not gonna get that. All right, there's all that. So we've got uh, we've got chapel. And then these rooms are going to all be a slightly different size, to be honest with you. I need a one, two, three, four, five. I need a five. There's two size fives. The reason for that is I need a mail room. And objects again. Mail room. Library. And parole. Okay. So I think that's about right. So we've got, from the top to bottom... Parole, mail room, library, chapel, common room, classroom, shop. Okay. I don't like the... Actually, I don't like that. I like... I would like it. The shop is up here. Because more stuff's going to be streaming up there. And the library up down here. And it makes sense being next to the classroom and stuff, doesn't it? At least that's my take on it. Okay, so... We know where the rooms are. We know what we need to do. We just need to brick these off and then we'll put some doors in it. But I'll just go up top to do that. There we are. So, we need a door in there. Mail room, door in there. Shop, door in there, technically. This one, classroom, door there. Library, door there. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll run some electrical cable all the way down. And then up as well. A bit more. And we'll leave it there. So, not a bad episode. We've got prisoners. Uh, currently hasn't kicked off, which is always useful. We will see... Yep, yeah, some of the prisoners are sitting around. You can see we've also got some prisoner uniforms, which should have... Been, that's, good, that's either been done by the... By the janitors at night or by the prisoners in the day because we have got nine assigned to that so leaving it there not a bad episode i don't think um next episode we're going to get all of these rooms on the left done and another cell block and let's just see how it goes as always hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings